me and Gray have been friends for probably over 10 years. I've known Grace in his whole life, which is pretty cool. Anytime I'm somewhere where Gray is, I always go pretty much right up to him and I want to talk to him, I want to hang out with him. It's, it's hard to find guys who will actually like bear their heart to you or who you can uh, you know, speak honestly to. He's always willing to like have a conversation or just come over for a hug. He will never fail you. He is faithful. And if you need anything from him, if you need advice, if you need encouragement, he is just always there. He's a man of character. Oh, um, he gives 100% to everything that he does. He's an insanely busy guy, but every time he does worship, he like puts his all into it. He works harder than probably anyone else I know. He really like puts effort into it which inspires me because it's really difficult when you're doing so many things and you're exhausted at the end of the day to put effort into working on worship with excellence, but he always does. Looking at Gray, I'm like, man, I wish I could be more like that. He's got a really good sense of style, I'm not gonna lie. I like his sense of style, he's got, he's got cool style. I can't talk about Gray without talking about his sense of humor. He's, he's one of those people that like everything he says just like makes you laugh. How his voice will just get like deep and it'll be like, ah! Oh. <laughs> Riddle me this. Just the way he jokes is like, it will instantly make your day. I remember one time we were at a sleepover and it was one of those times where it was like, you know, three in the morning and like, it's a bunch of guys and we're all like, all right, shh, 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 trying to go to bed. And then he would just say something and like, it, it could be anything. And we would all just like lose it. And we were up like so late just because he would keep making us laugh over and over. I think of sleeping at his house and then in the morning it's like, you know, Miss Jody will say, hey, there's pancakes, and then he'll be like, pancakes. <laughs> like, no matter what he says, he'll just say it because it's him who said it, it makes you laugh. You know, over the years, just seeing some of the different scavenger hunt videos. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was. He had to do something where someone was a dog, and it was him. Bark, 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 nay. <laughs> what kind of what kind of bark, dog goes nay? Nay. And then he did a really good dog impression. <laughs> That's the first thing that comes to mind. He's had a couple of catchphrases. Now that I think about it. He got us started on the my guy thing. He was like the OG that he saw a YouTube video and like he said, you know, the guy was talking, saying my guy in that video. Um, and he was like, oh my guy. And he like started saying, yeah, I think it was this one SoulFest trip we were in the same tent and he kept like calling me and like everyone in the tent my guy. And that's like where it birthed. That's now like me and Mr. Morgan call each other my guy and everyone called each other my guy. And it all started from Grayson and SoulFest, so. Grayson, if there's one thing that I can um, have you believe, it's that it's okay to rest. Um, you know, you're a very hard worker, and one thing that is very important is to not get burned out, and um, for me especially, I've learned a lot about that, that you can um, rest from that, take a day off, you know, just enjoy um, the fruits of your labor and what you've been able to do. Um, you know, it actually makes you a harder worker to be able to uh, take some time just to enjoy and rest from what you've done. Yeah, life without gray would be pretty bland. <laughs> life without gray would be oh, <laughs> Man, life without gray would be pretty gray. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs>